can we put this set together? I'm bringing in my little brother, Mark. We haven't done anything with Lego together in about 14 years. And now as adults, we live on opposite sides of the country and he came out here to San Diego to help me put this thing together. So they're still putting them in individually wrapped. It's just by section, I guess. Check out the detail here. Now that we've got the engine block together, turn this. That's 16 pistons working together. Also, this has been just really fun to put together so far. There's a lot of attention to detail, just in paying attention to each step, using some colors to try to make different steps easier to not screw up. As you can imagine, making mistakes along here could cause a lot of trouble later on. As time has gone on with Lego, they've used a lot fewer studs. So maybe not so much no noticeable in, in Technic as some of the other lines, but that whole studs not on top or snot construction that was popularized by some of the adult fans of Lego has made its way back into official stuff. And I think we see a lot of that here where there's things that are just completely smooth. There's not a lot of open, stud work that you can see. And I think this is only gonna get even more sleek as we get further down on the build. So we've come now to box number two, and we are also in Maryland on the East Coast. So this project continues to bring us, to bring us together. This is the second biggest part of this model. It's actually done to mimic the production process of the actual Bugatti Chiron, where the gearbox is built in one segment, like we've already done back in California, and the front part is built separately, and then they are brought together, and they call it the marriage process. So we have built one on the West Coast, and we're gonna to try to build this other one here on the East Coast, and then bring them together. Something I think that's kind of satisfying is they do a lot of steps where these orange pegs are halfway out. So then when you put two sections together, you'll like push this through to snap it in. Uh, it kind of feels like you're bolting it in place. One of the things that I'm noticing here is that some of the most beautiful pieces of engineering that I've seen so far, you're not even really gonna get to see in the final model because they're very deep in it. Which goes back to something I've been saying with this, that this build and this set is really an experience. Like you're supposed to appreciate it as you go through it. Definitely want to make some engines or manufacturing sounds. <laughs> All right. So we're here in session three. It's box three. <clears throat> Back in California this time for this part of the build. Placing stickers is easily my least favorite part of any Lego build. I feel like the, <laughs> the stakes are always so high. You get one shot to apply this thing and if you screw it up, it's gonna be a little bit off center for the whole rest of the life of that Lego piece. I love these types of pieces where you put them together and it makes like wings and then they just come in and become whole panels. sort of an interesting cheat piece. You place in through one of them here and then you put the next one on and you end up with something that takes up only two widths 
but it has three connection points. I think it's safe to say that this project took far longer than I originally expected. At 3,600 pieces, this is the largest set I've ever put together. My estimates of knocking it out in a few hours or so were woefully inaccurate. It's not only the size, the build is complex with some great techniques, intricate gearing, aesthetic pieces, and an overall underlying construction that ultimately makes for a very detailed and fun to look at model. There's a big sense of accomplishment to completing it. I think what's even more memorable is that I got to do this one with my brother. We did this on hard mode, to be sure, because we don't live anywhere near each other these days. It took a long time, not just to do the building when we were together, but to find time to make it physically to California or to Maryland. Lego has been such a part of our childhood experience growing up together. It's among the things that I think both of us would look back on and say we missed the most about being kids. Now, as adults, it's great to have the opportunity to return to that, to remember what it was like doing these things together and just getting to hang out together. I think maybe that's what part of these sets aimed at adults are all about. It's about bringing people back to what they remembered about LEGO, to engage them in a way that they couldn't before because maybe now we have a little bit more dexterity and a lot more patience and appreciation for what the model is replicating. At the core of it, it's going back to what we've always really loved, of sitting down and rooting through the plastic bricks and hearing that sound. And hopefully, whether it's a spouse, a brother, a friend, or a child, it's about doing it with someone you love.